What is going on guys? Today I am back with some more new Destiny 2 info and today we're going to cover a Luke Smith Q&A on D2, the Titan map and the Taken King subclass is returning as well as a few other bits and bobs so let's go. So this Luke Smith Q&A was uploaded to Wired yesterday and he tells of some new interesting points from Destiny 2 and first up he mentions the fact kinetic weapons will deal more critical damage when players are not in their super while playing PvP yet when a Guardian is in their super energy weapons are the better choice to to go with. Luke Smith then went on to answer a question on the basic mechanics behind the three character classes in terms of titans feeling like walking tanks, hunter, acrobats and warlocks being floating butterflies. Luke Smith goes on to say that that's exactly what we can do due to the new armor stats. We can actually make our guardians be as fast as they were in Destiny 1 with the right build which is absolutely awesome but it is all down to using armor stats correctly. Luke Smith also confirms that we will be able to change damage types on our weapons excluding exotics so if you have that void hand cannon you can indeed change that to solar if you feel the need to. Luke Smith then talks about private games saying that they will return but can't promise anything within the first few Destiny 2 updates. Moving on to Grimoire and why it was removed, Luke Smith goes on to say that they feel like what they have added in terms of a lore tab on various items to the game, they don't feel like it was taking something away, rather reprioritizing the time spent on doing something out of the game, which makes sense but I know there are a lot of Grimoire fans out there that are gutted it ain't making a return, but it is what it is. Luke Smith then goes on to answer the question of what is his favourite subclass within the game. He talks of the Titan and its towering barricade being a lot of fun to use within PvP, but then goes on to mention a new perk in the Hunter's Golden Gun skill tree that allows us Hunters to create the most orbs out of any other subclass, which is epic. The path is called the Way of the Sharpshooter, and the way it works is you can now hit precision hits with a golden gun which in turn spawns orbs for your allies the more precision hits the more orbs simple as that he then speaks of weapon nerfs and buffs since the beta as being asked a question of which is the best power weapon in the game obviously insinuating fusion rifles from a video linked to him he goes on to say fusion rifles have been brought down a bit to be more in line with other power weapons snipers have been applied with less sway and flinch and also rocket launchers have had an increased damage buff he then speaks of an exotic weapon we are all familiar with called the Wardiff Coil, formerly known as the Dubious Volley, a rocket launcher we all know the background to, a rocket launcher, or I think it's a rocket launcher anyway, this thing just, it's crazy the way it shoots, but it was supposed to be added to the Taken King back in Destiny 1 ages back, we've since seen this thing in action in many Destiny 2 trailers. And I cannot wait to get my hands on it, the Wardiff Coil. Not sure if I actually prefer Dubious Volley as a name, but either way, it doesn't really matter. Now if you guys want to watch the whole video on this Luke Smith Q&A, you will find it linked within the video description. Okay, so next up I have this image sent to me of the map Titan, which you guys will find linked within the video description if you do want to check it out. The map layout looks seriously interesting in the fact of there being four main areas to the map but flanking points as it seems from one area to the other are not there. To get to the fourth area on the ground you must run through the second and third areas, it's as simple as that. Titan is a planet which I believe is filled with 90% ocean and it's also within the lore to be a place the Nine are linked with. Check out this Grimoire card. The Nine are ancient leviathan intelligences from the seas of Europa and the hydrocarbon pits of Titan. So really interesting to see if we do see them here or not. Trials of the Nine I did confirm yesterday so maybe, just maybe, there may be in-game links between the two. We would just have to wait and see. So if you guys missed my video yesterday talking about the Trials of the Nine, basically a whole bunch of Destiny 2 audio files were ripped from the PC beta. As far as I know, they are all here from the full game. Now the news of the Taken King subclasses are rampant at the moment and we've seen the relics obtainable in game for third classes it's pretty obvious that we will be getting them but curious enough we haven't been actually told what the subclasses will be and I can confirm though that during my exploration through thousands of audio clips I can say that the subclasses are called Stormcaller, Nightstalker and Sunbreaker. I mean it was pretty much already confirmed but it's great to actually hear their names and on that note guys I am out hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks as always for stopping by if you're new around here and enjoy daily destiny videos be sure to subscribe and I will as always guys see you on that next one always in the wrong knowing where we
we stand But you and I will carry on We never get it right